What happens if you don't have sex for a long time? The saying, too much of a good thing, can certainly apply to sex. Excessive or rough sex can cause minor tears in the vaginal wall and increase the risk of bacterial infections. But what about prolonged sexual abstinence? For men, long periods without ejaculation can lead to epididymal hypertension, commonly known as blue balls, sexual frustration, and spontaneous ejaculation, often resulting in nocturnal emissions, wet dreams. For women, the effects may be less apparent. In this blog post, we delve into the reasons behind long-term abstinence, its physical and mental impacts, and the role masturbation plays in sexual health. Reasons why you might abstain from sex. There are many reasons why you might go a long time without having sex or stop having sex altogether. Societal pressures regarding sex can sometimes lead you to choose abstinence. However, it's important to understand that there's no shame in not having sex, and many people lead happy, sex-free lives. Here are some common reasons for choosing to abstain from sex. Asexuality. An asexual person does not experience sexual attraction to others or has a low interest in sex. This could be due to personal choice, past trauma related to sex, health issues, a preference for platonic relationships, or being asexual from birth. Some asexual individuals may choose celibacy, sexual abstinence, while others might have sex occasionally. Religious Reasons Celibacy is practiced in various religions worldwide, including Christianity, Buddhism, and Hinduism. It is often seen as a demonstration of commitment to one's faith. Platonic Relationship Not all relationships, including marriages, need to involve sexual activity. Some may be agreed upon as platonic from the start, experience a gradual decrease in sexual activity, or stop suddenly. If both partners are satisfied with the arrangement, a platonic relationship is perfectly normal. Preference for self-pleasure Finding a sexual partner who understands your desires can make intercourse very enjoyable. However, self-pleasure can be just as exciting since you know your preferences best. Some people may prefer self-pleasure over sex with another person and choose to abstain from sex in favor of masturbation, more on this subject below. Vaginismus Vaginismus is a condition where the vaginal muscles contract involuntarily, making penetration difficult and sometimes painful. The exact cause is unknown, but it can be treated with Botox, which relaxes the vaginal muscles and can make penetrative sex more comfortable. If left untreated, this condition can make sex distressing, leading some sufferers to stop having sex altogether. Low libido Low libido, or a low sex drive, can occur for various reasons, including relationship issues, vaginal conditions like dryness and vaginismus, mental health problems such as stress and depression, pregnancy, certain medications, alcohol and drug use, and aging. Many women going through menopause may experience low libido, which can be addressed with holistic treatments, psychotherapy, or hormone replacement therapy, HRT. The Effects of Long-Term Abstinence there are no significant health benefits or disadvantages to having safe, consensual sex, and similarly, abstinence is unlikely to lead to any serious health issues. Below, we outline some physical and mental issues that may arise for women during or after a long period of abstinence. Incontinence Sexual intercourse can help strengthen the pelvic floor muscles, which support bladder control. Weak pelvic floor muscles can lead to incontinence, ranging from minor leaks when sneezing to complete loss of bladder control. Fortunately, these muscles can be strengthened through other methods, such as Kegel exercises, involving repeated clenching and releasing of the pelvic floor muscles, yoga, and pelvic floor training devices. Vaginal Dryness When a woman becomes sexually aroused, her vagina naturally produces lubrication to prepare for intercourse. However, during extended periods without sexual arousal, the vagina may temporarily cease lubrication production, resulting in a condition known as vaginal dryness. This can lead to symptoms such as itching, soreness, difficulty inserting tampons, and discomfort or pain during subsequent sexual activity. 
Artificial lubricants can be used to alleviate discomfort caused by lack of arousal. However, vaginal dryness can also have other causes, such as menopause, which may require ongoing treatment to manage effectively. Sexual frustration. Indeed, women experience sexual frustration as well. If you typically enjoy sex but are abstaining for a period of time, you may find yourself feeling frustrated and stressed about the lack of sexual activity. This can lead to symptoms such as irritability, mood swings, difficulty concentrating, and disrupted sleep. You might also notice increased vaginal lubrication or a sensation of heaviness in the clitoris due to heightened blood flow from arousal. Masturbation can help alleviate these symptoms. How often should I masturbate? Not everyone engages in masturbation, and there is no set amount that is considered either healthy or unhealthy. It's important to listen to your own comfort level, and if you have questions or uncertainties, discussing them with a doctor can be helpful. Regarding the benefits of masturbation, in addition to potentially alleviating some of the effects mentioned earlier, self-pleasure can offer mental and sexual advantages. According to a study from 2015, women who masturbate tend to experience more orgasms, increased sexual desire, higher self-esteem, and greater satisfaction in both their marital and sexual relationships. They also may require less time to become sexually aroused. However, for individuals who are satisfied with abstinence and have strong self-confidence, masturbation may not be necessary to attain these benefits. Things that can happen to your body after sex. 5 Things that can cause discomfort after sex. After sex, many people typically engage in cuddling, conversation, or even taking a brief nap, particularly among men. However, sometimes it can also lead to uncomfortable symptoms such as vaginal soreness, itching, or discharge. Can you identify with this experience? If so, this guide is essential for you. Here, we outline five unpleasant occurrences that can follow sex and offer advice on how to manage each one. Soreness. While sex is typically associated with enjoyment and pleasure, the reality is that painful sex is a common occurrence. There can be various reasons for this, including health conditions such as endometriosis. It's also normal to experience cramping in the uterus after sex, which occurs due to the release of oxytocin, causing contractions. What to do? It's normal to experience cramping after sex, but if you consistently feel pain after every session, it's important to consult a gynecologist. This could be a symptom of conditions like fibroids, endometriosis, or another underlying issue. Burning sensation. Experiencing a burning sensation in that area is extremely uncomfortable. If you feel this burning sensation when you urinate after sex, it may be due to engorgement of the vaginal tissues. However, this burning sensation should be temporary. If it persists for hours afterward, it's advisable to consult your doctor. What to do? To prevent any discomfort during sex, use lubrication. Stay hydrated and ensure your hands and mouth are clean before getting into bed. Blood spotting after sex. Inflammation of the cervix can sometimes cause slight bleeding after sex. Rough intercourse may result in vaginal tearing, which can also lead to spotting later. In rare instances, if the blood appears darker in color, it could indicate the expulsion of old menstrual blood from the uterus. What to do? If you experience post-sex spotting on more than one occasion, it's important to schedule an appointment with your gynecologist. Vaginal itching. If you experience vaginal itching after sex, it could be due to the lubricant or condom used. If the issue continues, consider getting checked for possible allergies. What to do? Be aware of any allergies you have and always read the ingredients before using condoms and lubricants. UTI. Sexual activity is the primary cause of UTIs. Bacteria can be transferred from the bowel to the vaginal cavity during intercourse, leading to infection. What to do? After sex, ensure you urinate within 30 minutes. This helps flush out bacteria and reduces the risk of UTIs. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, 
so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.